When last we traversed this dark nether realm. Behold my special attack. I hope I can survive it. Oh, hello dog. What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. And now. Um, sure. Okay, dating start. Oh, are we fighting again? Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, press the C key on your keyboard for dating hub. Okay. Holy crap. Wowie, I feel so informed. Population, crime, reel it in, egg, Thursday. A radar with a dog on it? I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Okay. Really? Wowie. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. What? Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Um, sure, dude. No. You planned it all. You're way better at dating than I am. No, no, no. Your dating power. No. No. Don't think you've bested me yet. <laughs> I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! What do you think of my secret style? I love it. No, a genuine compliment. I am rocking date power like a dating master. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Okay. Uh, the hat. My hat. My hat. My hat. <laughs> well then, you found my secret. Wow. That was a good guess. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Um, open it. Do you know what this is? Um, looks like maybe another hat. Of course. Oh, it's spaghetti. Spaghetti? That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. 
then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Um, eat it? You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Oh, ugh. no. Kame, Hame, Ha. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot, human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean, I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, got to go. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, uh, that was, uh, like weird and awkward, you know? Yeah, so, um,. That was a thing. Oh, can we go talk to Sans? The door is locked. Mm. Okay. Can I post on social media? No. Okay. Well then, are you in the kitchen? No. Huh. I'm going to go sleep in the inn again. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I want to stay. I will definitely bundle up. Who are the three snorers over there in that bed, I wonder? Hiya. Yep. I had a great sleep. Yep. Only two minutes. I know. 
I'm a really fast sleeper. Thanks for the money back. Save? Yep, it sure does fill me with oh, fills me with determination. Can I um I can call papyrus, cool. Ring ring Snowden, home of papyrus. That's the slogan, right? Okay. Can I call Toriel? I haven't tried that since I left. I never even thought to do it. Nobody picked up. I hope she's okay. I'm gonna go back up through the middle of town and look right quick and see if anything has changed. Maybe up where the ice cube bear is. Or maybe that's a wolf? It's a dog? Yeah, it's an ice cube dog. Nope, everything's the same. Apparently. I guess we'll head on out of town and see what's going down. Yeah, it's still locked. What is this? I don't get the visual thing here, but whatevs. Can I go down right here? No. Can I jump on that ice? No. Well, down the blue path. What is going on now? Oh, oh, hello, sons. So I'll save here again. Everything fills me with determination. What? Haven't seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Um, sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. I was about to wonder if I had to walk all the way back there. Fast shortcut, huh? Very fast. Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for a breakfast a minute, a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. The old whippy cushion. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put wishy co whippy cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Um, I want fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of fries. You scratching your skull? So, what do you think? Of my brother. Uh, he's pretty cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean, he wears it in the shower. So do we need to get his outfit somehow? Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Mm, no. More for me. Wow, just guzzle it. Uh, your cockets, cossacks itching there? It's tailbone? Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Pi Papyrus tries real hard. Like, how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. He was a pretty good warrior as far as I can see. 
Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Um, have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yeah, he's a real jerk. So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. Oh, that's not the talking flower that I was thinking of. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement. I think that's the flower I'm thinking of. Predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. So this is making me think I've got to get Papyrus's outfit and imitate him or something. Maybe I'm just reading too much into it. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 gold. Um, sure. Just kidding. Grillby, put it on my tab. It's good because I didn't have 10,000 gold. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Whoo. Can I have these fries? Can I take them with me? No? Okay. Bye, guys. So I'm all the way back here. So where is Papyrus? Is that outfit in his closet, maybe? No, he changed during the date. He answered the phone even though he doesn't seem to be in this house anymore. Let's check his closet. Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Okay, so I can't do that and get his outfit. May not need to. It may, that may just be a, sort of a red herring. We can look in the mailbox. <sighs> yes. It's empty. Okay. Well, I don't know if I'm supposed to do anything then. Guess we'll just go on back. Through this weird ice effect. Am I walking under some ice or something? Is that what that's signifying? No idea. So the flower has been bothering Papyrus, has it? Yo! Are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome! She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha! <laughs> Are you, is this Undyne? Is that who we're talking about? Sound of, yeah, uh, fills me with determination. Let's hang out again sometime. Um, uh, sure. All that gives my life validation is explaining the Echo Flower. No one can know. Never trust a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. Here's a box. This is a box. Okay, yeah. You can't use items when they're... Yeah, I know. Sincerely, a box hater. Okay. Same box. Same box. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I can't follow that. Uh, look at all the rocks. Let's go to the same... Oh, another flower. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Okay, so I have to get over here. No, not here. Ooh. Oh, the rocks don't hurt me. It's... Okay... Oh, there we go. Huh, there's a camera behind the waterfall. There's cameras everywhere. 
Okay, can I take it or something? Herm. I can't follow those little narrow boards. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I guess we know that now. Can I walk on... Is this... Okay. This is a path... Oh, wow. Okay, I got it. That's what those are for. Alright. Yep. I want to look up there, I think. Yeah. Oh, cool. What's this? A tutu. Take it? Um, sure. Old tutu. What is that? Is it armor? Armor of tin. Finally a protective piece of armor. Okay. Uh, can we equip it? All right. I think that's better than what we had, isn't it? Yeah, it's better. Three points better. Cool. What is the deal with these mushrooms? We didn't find anything out about the mushrooms in that cave, did we? Wonder if there was something that I missed that was supposed to tell me about that. Yes, please. All right, let's go back across. Ooh, we're in shadow. Tall grass. We're gonna find a po. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hi, Undyne. Swearing nightly armor there. I am here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes of course I did. I fought them valiantly. W what Did I capture them? W well no. I tried very hard, Undyne. But in the end, I failed. Wh what? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them, y you see. You see. Uh, yeah? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Really? You want to explain this, Papyrus? No response. Hmm. Let's try Toriel again. Huh. Oh. Looks like a blue spear. Do I just stay still? Okay. Um, goodbye. Huh. Don't know if I should go back or not and check around. Oh, hi, kid. Yo! Did you see the way she was staring at you? That... That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What'd you do to get her attention? Haha! <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Oh, you okay, kid? A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Huh. When Ford Bridge seeds a line in the water, they will sprout. Are these bridge seeds? Oh, okay. Okay, I got gotcha. you. And sprout into a bridge, I suppose. Cool. Nothing in the crack, okay. Ooh. Aaron flexes in, okay. 
Hello, Aaron. What's your deal? This seahorse has a lot of HP horsepower. <laughs> All of his attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box. Oh, okay. Check. All you want. Oops. Smells like a muscle farm. I get ya. Um, flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Flex it up, Aaron. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Nice. I won't lose though. Ooh, shoot. Aaron is ready for your next flex. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You, oh, cool. Oh, can't get to that sign. Hello, mushrooms. Oh. Okay, I guess I can build a bridge there. This way. Oops. Say, um. There. Probably have to leave the area and then reset to get them back. There. Keep getting. Stop it, mushroom. Right. Last bridge seed. Yay. Congratulations. You failed the puzzle. Uh. Okay, it's funny. It's funny. Alright. So, where are they supposed to go? Right there? Right there, I guess? If an error is made, the bell blossom can call bridge seeds back to... Oh, okay, so I guess I don't have to leave the area. Gotcha. What is with these mushrooms? Do I have to turn them all off? Well, I haven't done that so far, so I guess I'm out of luck on that. Looks like only three can fit right there. I guess they should... Can four fit there? It still only looks like three. Huh. Well, let's see. Maybe it'll fit four. No, it's only going to fit three. Pretty sure that won't make a bridge. Do they have to be in a straight line? Or do they just need to be touching in some way? Okay, that didn't work. All right, so where to put these? I mean, I could put them here. It would work there. Okay, I think I know what to do. Say... Oh, no, that's wrong. Misjudged where I was at. All right, so here... Here. That's not going to work, is it? Here. Here. No. Oh. Where can I get four of these? I mean, I could put them, like, there, but that wouldn't get me across. Or do I need to do it down here? No? Do these do anything? Oh, well. Wusha shuffles up. Who are you, Wusha? What's your deal? Seven attack, one defense. This humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. Tweet. Whistle as it cleans. Okay. Oh. Wusha is friends with a little bird. 
That's cool. Um, clean? You ask Wisha to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Okay. Oh, get it. Shoot. Darn it. Clean me. Clean me, Wusha. Yeah, green means clean. Got it. Do I only have to get one? Please only make me get one. Yay. Spare you, Wusha, and your little bird friend. All right. Doesn't seem like that's affecting anything. That's only going to fit three. All these are only going to fit three or two. And there, there's not a straight... Hmm. Well, let's do this and just see what happens. Okay. Anything? No. Maybe they don't need to be here. Maybe I take them somewhere else. Uh, can I take these over here too and use a total of eight? No, they don't come with me. Hmm. Can I? No. Very strange. Let's try this. What happens when I drop one here? Where does it go? There. There. Oh, let's try this then. Okay, let's try this. Oh, they just go across wherever you push them. Thought there was a consistent current or something. So, here. Oh, I get it. I think I get it. If the case is that they go where you push them, then we just do this. Yeah, I thought the flowing of the water had something to do with it. And that is not the case. All right, that's a good puzzle. I like that. Can I go behind the waterfall? Nope. Okay. Yep. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number, number, su I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? What will you say? Um, well, we know he is trying to betray us. I don't know if lying is going to have a bad con consequence or not, but I am going to protect myself. No. So you aren't wearing a dusty tutu. Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. Click. Good, and uh, I don't trust you a bit because you are a bad skelly bones. Hello, sign. Wishing room. Who? What have people wished for? A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones in the ceiling. Oh, okay. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Willie? Hey, Mold Small. It's been a long time since we saw you. Oh, we can just, um, just mercy you straight off. Goodbye, guys. Come on, sis. Make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real star someday. Uh, that'd be nice, guys. I hope you get that, too. 
Look through the telescope. Yes. Hmm. Sparkly stones. I wonder what that three dot blinking together means, or maybe not anything. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Or maybe you're just, you know, looking at the same rocks again. Ooh, cool. Uh, hello, cattails. More signs. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of Humans and Monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness, ironically. It is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body, even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul, a horrible beast with unfathomable power. Is that what the flower is? It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Huh. Oh, it's a raft. Uh, I want to, oh no. There was a raft on the other side. I wouldn't, darn it. Uh, hello Undyne. Uh, yeah, so this is bad. Whew. Oh, I can't get out. Run, run away, run away, run away. Keep running, run away, quick, run away. Run away, run away. Leave me alone, you mean knight lady. Those attacks are pretty impossible to dodge. Ugh. Okay then. Well. I won't give up. I will stay determined. Alright. Well, let's do... Oh, that one doesn't go anywhere. Well then. How's my health? 20. Her. So we know not to go back to the left this time. Come on, let's move. Yup. Yup. Darn it. Come on, leave me alone. Uh. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Gee, ah. Oh. Here we go, go. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, can't move now. Oh. You gonna find me? What? That's not me. That's a monster. Don't you feel bad about yourself now for hurting that little monster kid? He, she, it admired you a lot. Can I help it? No? Jeez. Can't go out on that. Oh, you gonna come out, monster kid? You okay? She hurt you? Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never watching my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. You're pretty clumsy, kid. I'm glad you're not hurt, though. 
So what is the mouse encouraged about this time? This cheese is it's pink cheese. Cool. So long, a magical crystal has grown around, around it. It's stuck to the table. Of course it is. Hello, mouse. Squeak. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. It does indeed. <laughs>